A check now of the forecast, sending it over now to KJ Jacobs. It is a chilly one out there. Yes, Vanessa, it is. Temperatures are continuing to fall tonight. If you're like me, it's the night to pull that extra blanket from the end of the bed and certainly use it to stay warm overnight because temperatures are 20 to 25 degrees cooler compared to last night. Unless, of course, you want to crank up the, the heat and that's only going to run up the electricity bill. So perhaps extra blankets are on the table for tonight. Hey, take a look right now at those current temperatures. Most of us are below 40 now, 37 in Concord, and those those temperatures in Statesville also 37, 34 Hickory, and in the mountains tonight, temperatures are in the upper 20s already. So some of us have fallen below freezing. The skies are clearing out after rainfall for Saturday to kick off the weekend. Rain last night, and we also had some showers this morning, but we are drying out to start off the day tomorrow. Here's what's going to happen. So high pressure will continue to stay to our north. This is going to give us a sunny start to Monday. However, we will have some clouds building in late tomorrow. Still no rain, but the showers are not likely to be far away as we are tracking a system that's going to move out of the Gulf of Mexico. This is a disturbance, if I may. So this area of low pressure will lift towards the north and east, riding right along the coastline of Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. This is going to bring some soaking rainfall primarily to the coast. However, we do have that potential for a few showers to kick inland and move into the Charlotte area for the day on Tuesday, likely to be during the afternoon and evening hours, but we will continue to watch the system as it lifts throughout the day on Tuesday. But take a look at Futurecast. The models are doing a good job of being somewhat consistent in terms of the heaviest of that rainfall hanging just right along the coastline and offshore. And I know that because you can see the oranges and the red showing up here, and that's an indication of the heaviest of the rainfall. While we'll have just some green scattering in nature across the Charlotte area is an indication of some lighter showers. That will be the potential for Tuesday. So if you are planning to do some yard work, clean up around the house as you invite guests over for the holidays coming up on Thursday and Friday, then Monday will be a nice day to get out there. However, it will be cooler tomorrow. Tuesday, we'll have to watch out for some of those showers that may move in during the afternoon. And then Wednesday and Thursday likely to be a little bit drier. And you can see it all play out here on the seven day forecast. So we'll start the day tomorrow with those temperatures below freezing. So a cold Old start to your Monday and it will stay rather brisk throughout the day with temperatures only in the mid to upper 40s. However, it will be a sunny day and then by Tuesday rain chances and Wednesday small rain chances only at 20%. But looking ahead at your holiday forecast the night before Christmas, coming in around 44 clear skies and Christmas Day 64. So it will be warmer than it should be certainly for this time of year. Vanessa.